Diablo 4 will be releasing in just under a month. Up to that point, we've had three betas and some of us will be getting early access. The demand for this game is astronomical and that demand will not be letting up anytime soon. Everyone is going to play this game. Will everyone like it? That's a question for another day. But there is no debate that this game will be so addictive it might just ruin your life. Let's dive into the reasons why. Diablo 4 is very likely to become the most widely accessible ARPG ever made. It will also be the most heavily marketed ARPG ever made. And it will also be made by a company that possesses one of the very few household names, Blizzard. Now, the Blizzard name has obviously taken a hit over the last couple of years, and in every way it is deserved. But they are still one of the most iconic and successful developers in the industry. And to this day, they have massive fan bases across a wide range of their games. And as consumers, brand loyalty, or in this case, brand familiarity, is integral in the attraction of new products. With the release of Diablo 4, Blizzard can rely on the pre-existing public consumption of their other games to bring traffic over to Diablo 4, rather than relying solely on selling Diablo 4 to new audiences. If that wasn't enough, Blizzard have decided to make this one of the most casual friendly ARPGs ever made, which with the existence of an already strong and excited fan base, will easily bring over new players anyway. Which brings me to my first reason as to why this game will be so addictive. Popularity. When a game has a high popularity rating, even if that game is objectively bad, it is a strong indicator that the people playing that game are taking value from it. If you are then not interacting with a game that supposedly delivers value to players, then you are missing out. The fear of missing out is what drives player traffic to your game. That's why new content is always delivered in waves. Hypothetically, Blizzard could release all the raids for WoW at once, for example, and let the player play them in the proper order. But by phasing the content out across a period of time, it builds anticipation. And when that new content releases, if you don't interact with it soon after its release, you feel like you have missed out. And usually, the intensity of that feeling will be higher than the gratification you feel after after completing the content anyway. Look, I, I know you're not following what I'm saying anyway, right? That's, that's okay, that doesn't matter. What does matter is what people are playing. And mark my words, people will be playing Diablo 4 and they will continue playing it or they will miss out on what? Seasonal content. And that's the second reason this game will become your next addiction, seasonal content. Blizzard are practically promising us a high every season, but they are not obligated to deliver it. They could, but we have to play it to find out, don't we? Blizzard, therefore, are aiming to edge us all on a consistent basis. As Diablo 4 is already part of a much beloved franchise, there is already built in incentive to stay dedicated to the game in hopes that the grass is greener on the other side. And that hope is what is going to keep us addicted. Seasonal content will ensure that the player base's opinion of the game will be time sensitive and refreshed constantly. The player base as a result will not be able to voice a uniform opinion about the game because they all have different tastes and desires. Therefore, some players will be satisfied and some will be disappointed. Let's talk about the gameplay itself. Diablo 4, on paper, will possibly be one of the most well-made ARPGs ever. The game's graphics are stunning, the gameplay itself is fast and punchy, and there is such a diverse lineup of enemies and playstyles for people to enjoy. It even includes a subscribe button. How about that? All of these features are delivered in a package that is extremely friendly to a casual player base. And that right there is the third reason this game will be so addictive. Diablo 4, straight off the bat, will cater to a massive audience. That audience will be varied, dedicated, and opinionated. Part of that massive audience, a substantial part actually, will be casual. They will jump in and out of playing the game, and most of their judgments on the game will be reactionary and surface level. The true depths of of this game's systems and gameplay will only be analyzed and critiqued by more hardcore players. Diablo 4 being a casual friendly game will inherently make it more addictive to a wider portion of consumers. Path of Exile, for example, is an intensely addictive game, only once you understand the full scope of its end game features and systems. For a casual player, Path of Exile is not addictive, as the hit of dopamine only comes with a significant time and effort investment. You know what? I'm good. 
I don't fancy learning this. Casual players for Diablo 4, on the other hand, have more avenues to succumb to addiction. The fundamental gameplay mechanics at all levels are objectively more interesting than Path of Exile. Coming home from work and wanting to wind down with a level 23 barbarian is a way more appealing and even rewarding prospect than grinding your way to endgame like most other ARPGs, as the endgame is the only interesting part of those other ARPGs. Diablo 4 fulfills a wider breadth of criteria for casual players. Moment to moment gameplay is more engaging, it is more visually pleasing, it is more narratively interesting, and above all, it is more intuitive and easier to grasp. When the promise of dopamine hits are therefore more accessible, that makes it inherently more tempting for a casual audience, and it is then effortless to become addicted. The fourth reason this game will be so addictive is because of the Blizzard infrastructure. Blizzard have had an extremely good track record of keeping games alive. Apparently not. WoW is still going incredibly strong, especially with the return of Classic. Overwatch is still one of the most played first-person shooters out there, and even Hearthstone is immensely popular still. Once Blizzard release a game, they invest most of their energy in ensuring its long-term success. <laughs> Serious? The way they do that is by investing a lot of their time and energy in receiving feedback from fans and acting upon that feedback to fix certain problems or enhance certain features to keep their fans attached to their games. Now, you can debate whether they're good at this or not. Now we know the answer to that. Do we not? But the point is, the infrastructure is there. The dialogue between fans and developers will be crucial in keeping the game alive. If you're addicted to a game, but then the game feels like it's on a downward trend, unless you have reason to believe it will get better, you are more likely to abandon that game. So far, Blizzard have left no indication that they aren't invested in Diablo 4's future. Thank you, Jesus! Quite the opposite. If you become addicted to Diablo 4 and you listen to developers saying it could get even better, why would you abandon that addiction? That's like being addicted to heroin, but soon it'll come with a built-in blowjob. Crude as that may sound, it is not as crude as some particular Blizzard employees themselves, and they are now desperate as a result. Blizzard have always been invested in their games, but Diablo 4 may be the most critical release in their history, and so there is more intention behind their investment. Their reputation is at an all-time low. Their fan support is at an all-time low. I'm sure that their own developer's confidence is at an all-time low. Diablo 4 needs to be a hit, and a big one, and it needs to retain a player base and keep them addicted. The only way to truly do that is to engage with the fans in the most transparent way possible. So far, the developers have done that extremely well, and they deserve to be commended for it. Multiple developer live streams, multiple public betas, interviews, inclusion of prominent content creators. It not only keeps your fans aware of the process, but keeps your community passionate. Opening that dialogue early and in depth creates a line of communication that also allows for the freedom of critique. For the fans, this not only allows them to feel good about playing the game, but making the game the best it could possibly be alongside the developers. So you don't only get addicted to the game, but the improvement process of the game. So now we come to the fifth and final reason this game will be your next unhealthy addiction. Here we go. It's just gonna be a damn good game. Game. Throughout practically all of the betas, Blizzard have been showered with universal praise. In all foundational aspects of the game, Blizzard seem to have a strong grasp on what players want and how they want it. With systems they don't want, the cash shop for example, they have integrated it in a way that, by first impressions, are not predatory to the game's integrity. There doesn't seem to be an outlying system that will harm the game. The atmosphere in Diablo 4 is phenomenal. The world is dark, bloody and moody. The music is foreboding. The environments are immersive, beautiful, haunting. The graphics are stunning. The cutscenes, which I could talk about for days on end, are incredible. The fact that they include your character is insane. The sound design is wildly compelling. But the gameplay, the core combat at the heart of it all, is so much fun. All the classes feel great. Some are undertuned, some are overtuned. I do not 
care. Tuning should never ever be a consideration when it comes to determining fun. Some classes play like gods one week and a mere mortal the next. The betas proved that, but the moment to moment gameplay, the skills, the effects, the feedback, it's just simply awesome. The only thing we haven't experienced so far is the end game. And sure, you could worry about that, but Blizzard won't. Blizzard, in some ways, practically invented the idea of Endgame, or at least popularized it. People have been playing WoW Endgame for almost 20 years at this point. They do not always get it right, that's true. But with Diablo 4, they have to. If they get it wrong, it could prove disaster. But how could they? Diablo 4 isn't even out yet, and it's more popular than Path of Exile, Last Epoch, Grim Dawn, Blizzard are addicted to creating a positive future for Diablo 4. And guess what? You bought the more expensive version so you could play it a few days earlier. Mate, you're already addicted, you stupid mother 